In my ongoing quest to make better, more eye-catching YouTube thumbnails, I started incorporating a glow outline effect around my silhouette in my pictures. As you can tell, I have a thing for purple, my hair is kind of purple, and my background is also purple, so even though it's a lot of purple, it all kind of blends in. So here's what my thumbnails used to look like without the glow effect, and here's what they look like with the glow effect. As you can see, adding this glow outline effect really helps to pop me out and add more dimension to my thumbnail. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I do this using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. Let's get started. Head on over to canva.com and then click on create a design. And we're gonna put in custom dimensions of 1280 by 720, which is the size of a YouTube thumbnail. Now, once your canvas loads, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is put in a background for our YouTube thumbnail. So I'm gonna click on patterns here. And just for this example, I'm gonna pick this. So there's enough contrast to kind of show you guys what I'm doing. So once we've got a background, the next thing that we're gonna do is put in the photo that we want to use where we're gonna put the glow outline. So I want to basically put the glow outline around me. Now, because I have Canva Pro, I can actually just click on effects right here and then click on remove background. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, then you can go to remove.bg and remove background of your photo here for free. Um, I definitely encourage you to get uh, Canva Pro because it's honestly the best thing ever. So once I've removed the background of the photo, I can just kind of position it accordingly. I know there's this black part right here, but I don't even have that part in there anyway. So it would be probably something like this. Now, once you've removed the background and sized it for where you want it to be, you're gonna duplicate that photo, okay? So click on that photo and then hit this, which will duplicate it. And then we're going to line it up, but we're also going to make it a little bit bigger than the photo behind it, okay? So we're just gonna drag these corners out and just kind of line it up as best as we can. So once you've duplicated it and you've made that layer bigger, we're gonna head on over to effects and then there's this effects called Duotone um, and then you click on see all to kind of see all these different colors that you can add. For now, I'm just gonna click on lavender and then you can actually click these uh, buttons right here to really change the color to be what you want. So I want something that's a glow, but I want it to be um, kind of a purplish glow because that's me. Actually, I can flip this by going white and then going purple for the shadow like this. Yeah. All right. So once I've got the color that I like, I'm going to head on over to adjust and then increase the blur just a little bit. I mean, you can go crazy, but um, I'm just gonna put in just a little bit of a blur. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this layer behind the other layer, bam. And there you go. So if you want your uh, glow to be a little bit bigger, you just make the photo behind it to be a little bit bigger and then you can uh, position the layers accordingly so it looks exactly how you want it. Now, if you wanted to maintain the background, so let me show you what I mean. Um, I'm gonna create a new page here and delete this. So say I wanted to make the glow effect, but keep this background. Here's how I do it because I, I actually do keep the background. So we're basically gonna need three layers. So there's gonna be one that has the full picture. Then we're gonna put in another one and we're gonna line it up and we're going to remove the background for this photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on effects and then remove the background of that one. And because I'm only going to outline me, I kind of pull in this front layer a little bit here so I can select between the two. And then basically what we're gonna do is duplicate this, right? So this is, the front layer is the one that has the background removed, as you guys can see. Okay, so we're gonna line that back up and then we're gonna duplicate that one. And that's the one that we're gonna make a little bit bigger, like this. Same thing, we're gonna add the effect. Uh, let's do, I don't know, I always gravitate towards lavender. I have a thing for purple. Um, so I'm gonna put this something like here. And then I'm gonna make this go white for the highlight. Um, this is kind of dark. Let's go a little bit lighter. Boop. There we go. Something like that. Then we're going to add the 
blur effect just a little bit. If you go too much, it doesn't really look like a silhouette, so you don't wanna go too much. You can play around with it, obviously. And then once you're done with the blur, you can uh, adjust it accordingly and then uh, just make sure obviously to send that layer to uh, the back, but not to the full black because then it would be behind your uh, background. Now, once you have everything lined up, um, basically what I do is I group all these three layers together. So there's one, uh, there's two, oh wait, wait, two, hold shift and click, boom. Okay, so I have all of them selected or you could just totally do this, right? <laughs> and then you're gonna hit group and everything will be grouped together. So from there, you can just move your photos around so that you can make it as big as you want it to be. Be. so something like that once you're finished obviously you can add uh, your text accordingly however you want um, something like this or however you want and then of course you just download your photo and then upload that to YouTube when you upload your video now if you use this tutorial to up your thumbnail game let me know in the comments I'd love to check out your new thumbnails and if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial about how I make my YouTube thumbnails in Canva check out this video here catch you guys later bye